Hey yo, welcome back. Let's dive right into it. Uh, abandoned by your collaborators, your confidants, your companions, and the only two amongst your colleagues with whom you've ever trusted the gift of your friendship. Pretty thick. Sounds like Beardo had his heart broken. You wandered the tunnels alone, dragging along the components of your unrealized masterpiece, combing the underground passages for a new site in which to realize your vision. Sounds like a genius. How do you mean? Wardy. Huh. I had a guy who came into the shop once with a bunch of old radios and computers and stuff. Real junk. I think he collected it going down alleys or something. Anyway, it was all broken. He asked me if he could get the tubes out and clean them up. The vacuum tubes. So I pulled every vacuum tube I could find. Threw the rest out. I went over some of the... I went over them with some rubbing alcohol and cleaned the leads. I used some nail polish remover on the glass. I did a pretty good job. Came back the next day and I laid it all out on a towel firm so he could check it out. I got the towel from my aunt Remedios. And like everything with her, it's really kind of nice, you know? It's red and has this gold embroidery around the edges. I guess it was a little too nice. The guy got all excited by the presentation kind of circled it and observed each tube from a distance, moving his head around in weird quick bobs like a pigeon. Then he just started lecturing at nobody in particular about the history of vacuum tubes. He talked for an hour. We went on a few dates, but nothing really came of it. Turns out he was kind of boring. Weird. Hall of the Mountain King, that's where we are. Oh, that tune sounds familiar. Uh, after what may have been years, you stumble out into a tunnel out of a tunnel into a cavernous open space. Slactites adorn the ceiling like grotesques. In the center of the room is an enormous rocky spire. This is where you will set up your equipment and establish your legacy. Now is the time to continue your work. Reach your research assistance, zero. Realism index, 37%. Romance index, 2%. Mold coverage, 0%. May hire a new research assign assistance to a task or sleep until tomorrow. Hire a new research assistant. Hire. Blowing job job advertisement to university message boards. You've hired Weaver who studies mathematics. Hire. No new applicants. Try again later. Assign. You may assign research assistance to debugging, transcription, or speculation. Um, mathematics, debugging, signing available research assistant to debugging, hire a new research assistant, sleep, time passes. Weaver identifies a bug with the oxygen level simulation, but is unable to fix it. Now is the time to continue your work. Research assistance 1. Realism 
Romance, 0%. Mold coverage, 11%. Hire a new assistant. I've hired Roberta, who studies fairy tales. Assigned to a task. Speculation. Uh, you have two research assistants available today. Assign how many to speculation. One. Sleep. I assigned the other one to debugging. Uh, Weaver fixes some weird math with some weirder math. Roberta discards centuries of exhaustive data on the uniformity of cause and effect. Greasy black mold is collecting on the computer equipment. Now's the time to continue your work. Realism, uh, research assistance 2, realism 32%, romance 5%, mold coverage 19%. Pay higher, sign, or sleep. Higher? Hired Amy. She studies human computer interaction. Sign. Debugging. Two to debugging. Ah. Uh, one to transcription. Sleep. Weaver widens the tunnel slightly to reduce the need for extra crouch commands. Roberta makes adjustments to echolocation algorithm. Bats now fly normally instead of getting hung up on each on each other's wings and clustering together like a horrible leathery tumbleweed. Amy carefully transcribes the sounds of dripping water and all their variations over a period of several hours. Intruders! Strangers are doing something to the equipment, but you can't make out what. You hide behind a rock until they leave. Trepidation, you emerge from your hiding place hours later. I'm not convinced this is getting us any closer to the zero. Research systems 3. Realism, 62%. Romance, 5%. Mold coverage, 0%. Hire a new research assistant. Hire Rick, who studies library sciences. Sign. Uh, two to speculation. One to debugging. One to transcription. Sleep. Time passes. Rick fixes fixed bugs. Amy summarized migratory patterns of bats through the tunnels. Roberta muses about love lives of fungal colonies. Weaver makes a convincing argument for the edibility of stone. Weaver follows the strangers into the tunnels. She doesn't return, but neither do they. Research Assistance 3. Realism, 77. Romance, 24%. Mole coverage, 11%. Hire new. Hire Andrew, study statistics. Two to debugging. Two to transcription. Sleep. Time passes. Andrew fixed bugs. Rick fixed bugs. Amy extensively notates tunnel diameter as a function of length. Roberta types up some lurid, lurid imagery from a dream journal. Greasy black mold is collecting on the computer equipment.
Maybe we should try to start over or something? This doesn't seem to be helping. Uh, research assistance 4, realism 100%, romance 13%, mold coverage 19%. Try and quit and start over. I want to keep playing. Come on, kid, we've got stuff to do. Quit. Are you sure you want to quit? Yes. That was a rhetorical question. Exit? But you aren't in anything at the moment. Maybe we have to lose or die somehow in order to start over? Eat the lamp! Eat lamp. Don't be ridiculous. Guess we can keep playing. Uh, maybe we have to wait it out. Wait indefinitely. Time passes. Research assistants come and go. You don't encounter the strangers again. But sometimes you hear the uncanny echoes of their voices off in the tunnels. Years pass. Mold accumulates. You and the remaining research assistants take to burning disused equipment in the center of the room. The black mold is intensely flammable and makes an excellent catalyst. It leaves behind a sweet, narcotic perfume. One night you have visitors, outsiders, different ones. Then later that night, an old friend. You really did go deeper into the caves. Premature end of file. Press any key to quit. Huh. Well, that sure was something. Scene 10? That's too many scenes. It's just a ridiculous number of scenes. An obscene number of scenes, one might say. Lula. You really did go deeper into the caves. All you were easy enough to find. Met a few of your former assistants. One can help but hear things. So this is what became of our project. Oh, I've made some additions. Joseph stole the data tapes for the first half, so I've had some blank spots to fill. Yes, I know. He published his version, version actually. I'm sorry to report that it's a bit tediously sentimental. We found your doctor. Oh, good. Yes, you're looking... Not well, to be honest. You smell like a distillery. Have you been drinking? Shannon looks uneasily at Conway. Well, uh, I wouldn't blame you if you had been. It's so dim here. So you found the address data. Just pass it over to Donald here. Donald, will you be a deer and crunch these numbers? We're looking to sort out a street name collection. Dogwood Drive. Wasn't the Bureau going to process it? I insist. Er, I insist. I have cycles to spare. I'll just pack my pipe and get to it. I should only be an hour or so. Andrew will carry it over to... I'll be at the Bureau for the rest of the night. Just mark it private materials for the attention of the senior, senior clerk Chamberlain. How do we get? F how do we get to the Bureau from here? The bridge! Yes, the bridge. Through the gate over there. Now we too recede into history. Good to... Good night, Donald. Meet me at the Bureau. Uh, and we'll get you on your way. Head counterclockwise to the cathode ray, then turn around. Then it's just clockwise until you find the Bureau. Between us, I think you should drive. Okay. Um...
So this was, uh, fucking something. What would you give plays? Okay. Yeah, now we're just running back the way we came. It's blue! Thanks for waiting, Blue. We've been gone a bit long. We were gone a bit longer than expected. Ran into some trouble, Blue. I won't lie to you. What happened up there? Just a bunch of computers. Johnny yawns. Oh, they are ready to leave. Okay, so it was counterclockwise till the cathode ray. Right? Shit, am I lost? Cool. Didn't take notes on that. It was clockwise? Tell the cathode ray. It was. It... Oh, wait. No, I just don't know how clocks work, do I? Wait. Yeah, it was counterclockwise, and I was going clockwise, because I'm an idiot. Because now I'm going clockwise, and I've turned around. So I'm just an idiot. The burrito. The burrito. Scene 11? Jesus. Blue. Got the time, Blue? Nah, you don't care about that. Keep doing what you do, Blue. Um, okay, so let's call this episode here, because it's time to do that. Um, so thank you for watching, y'all. I love you very much. I'll see you next time. Remember, Black Lives Matter, defund the police. Bye bye